Fern here. This is the happiness project for Pretty Upfront, an explorative journey into the world of happiness. So today I'm chatting to Jared Kite, who I see regularly for acupuncture. We're going to hear about your thoughts around happiness today and also your own unique theories around the whole subject. Great. So you've been uh, doing acupuncture for about 30 years now. Yep, almost 30 years. And I've been coming to see you for about 10 years, yeah. lucky me. So you practice five element acupuncture. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us exactly what that is? It's considered one of the oldest forms of acupuncture. And the reason it's called five element acupuncture is because it's very much based on the natural laws that existed thousands of years ago and still exist today. When we look at the workings of nature outside, how does that operate in human beings inside? It's to recognize that human beings are a part of nature as opposed to beings running around in nature. So when I come to see you, the word wood is thrown around quite a lot because that yeah. is the element that you're treating me for. So if we imagine, we look at these five elements in nature outside in the world, and then I look at you and I say, okay, how do these five elements manifest in you? I'm getting a sense of how the five sit and operate within you. And in human beings, everyone has one element which dominates as the most efficient or the most troublesome. So this leads me very nicely onto your book. In the book, you talk a lot about this pendulum theory. Yeah. So can you just sort of try and tell us what exactly that is? Imagine our thoughts and feelings are like a pendulum hanging. So if we swing this way, these are the highs of life. So that's where we feel excited, we feel inspired, we're all the things we associate with happiness, excitement. And this side, we have the lows. So what we know is it's normal to swing from the high to the low. It happens all day long, happens from year to year, week to week, and we get used to that. And then we also know that there's a place in the middle, which is the calm. So this is what most of us are dealing with. And some people get very attached to the high or very attached to the low, and that's when we get sick, that's when we seek help. The idea of the pendulum is that we don't have to live as a victim to these swings. We can actually live up here, rather than cling to the bottom down here. The real freedom is to be open to all of them and not be overly affected. I guess it's also practice, right? That you have to yeah. go... no, it is a practice. You know, yeah. I'm going to be disciplined to actually stepping back and just taking a look at it. And that does require, I guess, patience, time and practice to sort of nail that one. So I saw you last week for treatment and we're going to continue that treatment today, mm -hmm. acupuncture-wise. I've been to see you for all sorts of things. Obviously, I came to see you when I was pregnant, when I had terrible morning sickness, but I obviously talked to you about a lot of stuff as well, emotional stuff, what have you. Um, and I guess one thing that I, that is a, I guess an underlying theme is sort of like that acceptance really that's kind of for me quite a big one and because I'm wood I do go to the sort of angry place quite a lot mm. so we're going to continue treatment along those lines today yeah cool right well let's do the, the needle bit very good because we've diagnosed that the wood element is the weakest we're now going to strengthen it so the needle action reflects the fact that we're trying to encourage something increase something yeah Okay, so that's the needle through the skin. Is it okay? Mm hmm Until she gets the edge. Yeah, I've got it already. There we go. Yeah, it's a really funny sensation. It's kind of like, it depends where in the body it is, but it feels, you can sort of definitely sense uh, a movement or a rush of energy, and it's maybe sort of like, that one's felt like a bit like a bruise almost, and then it kind of went. Now just two points, one on your leg, one between your big toe. Through the skin. Yes. Good. Yeah. The last needle of the day. That's through the skin. Yes. Ooh. You know, it's no different than tuning an engine. That's great. Good. I'm alive. Well done. Thanks, Jezza. You're welcome. Well, thank you, Jared. That was a pleasure. My pleasure, too. Um, and I think the, the great thing that people can kind of take away from this is that pendulum theory, I think, is so interesting. Sort of be aware of your own happiness or lack of happiness and sort of see it from a slight distance. It's quite an important fact.
good practice is to like make your own pendulum so you have that awareness that reminds you to question where am I and to find your way back up to happiness at the top. Well, if you want to see more stuff like this, keep watching out for The Happiness Project on Pretty Upfront. Thank you.